Hello from Trustica again. We are here with another video introducing a new kind of cryptographic token based on elliptic curves. Specifically the twisted Edwards curve used by the ET25519 digital signature scheme and the Montgomery curve you can find in the X25519 key exchange scheme. Those are the cryptographic schemes CryptoGun uses. Today we will finish covering the basics of what you should do when you get your own CryptoCam. We have already shown you how to generate the key pairs and how to change the default pins. So now it's time to set up your personal information. As in the two previous videos, we use Mozilla Thunderbird with Enigmail extension. In Thunderbird's main menu, we go to Enigmail options and choose key management. Then. In the Enigmail key management window, we select Manage Smart Card from the File menu. As you can see, the OpenPGP Smart Card Details window shows all the personal information stored in CryptoCan's memory. Choosing Edit Card Data from the Smart Card menu allows you to edit everything at once. We fill in the name and the surname in appropriate text fields. Although you can fill in anything you want, we enter the name and the surname that match those in our email profile. Our preferred language is English, and therefore we type the letters EN into the language specification text field. You can choose any language from the ISO 639-1 standard. The gender radio button is self-explanatory, and as our profile lists someone called Joe, we can safely assume him to be male. The URL of the public key is another interesting property. If you plan to publish your public keys on a well-known web address, you should consider setting it up here so that it becomes part of the keys you send anyone. The more people get to know this URL, the harder it becomes for someone to impersonate you as everyone knows where to double-check your key should they receive a new one. It is strongly recommended to use HTTPS URL. For Joe Toucan, we use HTTPS colon slash 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 key. In the login data field, you can enter your username used for logging into remote systems. It is of no surprise that Joe Toucan uses Joe as his login username. The last configurable property is the force signature pin option. It is strongly recommended to select yes here. Otherwise you will be prompted for your user pin 1 only once after you have connected CryptoCan to PC. You can easily see that for the highest possible security you should not leave your CryptoCan unlocked this way and it should always require you to enter your pin when creating a signature. When you are sure that you have entered the correct information, all you need to do is to click on the save button. Then the software gives control to CryptoCan, which requests you to enter your administrative pin 3. So you enter your administrative pin 3 and confirm it. And that about wraps it up. CryptoCan is now ready to rock. Next time, we will look into signing emails with CryptoCan and you will probably be surprised how easy it can be. Thank you for watching and please spread the word if you can. Subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Twitter will always bring you the latest CryptoCan news.